this is what my hair looked like before I started my hair growth challenge where I get to leave my hair in cornrows for three months. In between I get to wash and care for my hair using my DIYs like my aloe vera hairspray, rice water hairspray, coconut hairspray, hair butters and oils. For my DIYs, I try to use as much organic product as I can, like rice, aloe vera, neem powder, rosemary, and the rest of them. So here is my six weeks hair update. Like I mentioned, I try to use as much of my uh, DIYs where I get to use organic product. Um, if you want to know how I make one of my hair growth treatment, then keep on watching. Hello and welcome back to my channel. If you're new or an OG, you are most welcome. You're going to start with a clean jar, then add a spoon of rosemary. I'm going to give you guys all the benefits later, but for now, let's just proceed to mixing. Like I said, add a spoon of rosemary, then a spoon of clove seed. I've already blended mine, so this is what it looks like. Next, you're going to add a spoon of neem powder. I'm using dried product for this mixture. Next, you're going to add a spoon of Ambuno. This is what the fresh leaf looks like. So I'll be using olive oil for this mixture. You can use any carrier oil of your choice. You can use coconut oil, you can use argan oil, you can use any oil you like, but I will be using olive oil for this. Finally, you're going to add half cup of your carrier oil or just make sure your mixture is saturated with your carrier oil. Mix properly, then cover. We're going to do the double boiling method before allowing it to sit for a couple of hours. So there are three ways you can actually infuse your oil. You can choose to fry it under low heat for a few minutes, maybe 20 minutes, then sieve and use. Or you can do the double boiling method for maybe about 30 minutes, then sieve and use. Or you can combine uh, both the double boiling method and then you let it sit for a few hours before you sieve and use. So for this a recipe I will be doing the double boiling method then I will allow it sit for few days before I sieve out and use so I will let my mixture sit in hot water for about 30 minutes under low heat so this will help my product to infuse properly into my oil then I will allow it sit for um, few days so for this recipe i decided to allow my oil sit for 72 hours you guys are going to see what my oil is going to look like after 72 hours like i said you can try any method of your choice but this is what i decided to do for this recipe so this is 72 hours later as you guys can see everything is looking all um settled it's kind of settled on the but yeah we're going to mix everything before we sieve so i'll try to give you guys all the benefits you can get from using all the products we use so i decided to use rosemary because it helps to stimulate hair growth by increasing blood circulation to hair follicles it also helps to reduce scalp inflammation and pain it also helps to treat dandruff and scalp um, irritations so i decided to add clove to this mixture because as you all know i'll be leaving my hair in cornrows for three months so i am definitely going to have some breakages or um, sheddings so i'm trying to minimize the amount of hair i will lose to the barest minimum that's why i decided to add clove because clove 
helps to reduce hair breakages it also helps to fight uh, scalp irritation treats dandruff promotes hair growth and also it minimizes hair graying neem leaf is actually very very good for conditioning your scalp it also helps to promote healthy hair growth since i'll be leaving my hair in cornrows for three months i will need all the products that will help grow my hair uh, in a healthy way uh, it also helps to minimize hair graying it helps to treat head lice and also reduces dandruff Finally, I decided to add Brahmin powder because it's going to help strengthen the root of my hair. It will also help reduce the amount of hair loss by strengthening my hair strands, which is one of my hair goals. Now that my hair growth oil is ready, I'm going to proceed to application. I'm going to show you guys how I apply this to my hair and then show you guys my six weeks progress. Like I said guys, I've been using hairsprays, hair oils and hair butters and this is my hair update so far. It's been 6 weeks and I have seen so much growth. I've seen so much growth guys. It looks really really long and you know it's it's actually looking very very good i don't know you guys can't actually see my edges even my edges are looking way better compared to um how it was when i started this challenge i showed you guys in the beginning what my edges were looking like yeah i have um baby hair right now that's because i just came back from church and i needed to show you guys how i apply this to my hair but trust me guys my edges are looking way better i'm not saying they are all you know long and full but it's looking way better than how it was when i started this challenge I try not to make too much of everything I make so I can exhaust it in a week. I try to use a fresh treatment every week. I still have about six more weeks to go, which means I still have about six uh, more recipes to do. And I will be sharing it with you guys. If you want to know all my recipes and my updates, then try to subscribe to my channel and also like this video, turn on your notification bell so you will know when the next video will be up because i upload every friday 5 p.m nigerian time so if you want to know when the next video will be up then subscribe to this channel i hope you guys enjoyed this video guys until next time see you in my next video bye